In this tutorial in Windows 10, we'd like to show you a built-in tool that will allow you to capture anything you see on your computer screen into a still image. It's called the Snipping Tool. The easiest way to get to that is to click here on the, the search area under Cortina and just press the S key and the first thing I have that pops up is my snipping tool. I can simply click on there and it will load the tool. You can also simply go to the Windows key or press the Windows icon in the lower left corner. Go alphabetically, I'll click on A, you go to W for, uh, and then click on Windows Accessories and then I have here my snipping tool. But simply clicking S down here in the search engine I find a lot easier. Once you have the tool loaded, there are several modes you can use for a, for a snip. Uh, you can delay the snip by uh, no time at all or up to five seconds. Uh, you can cancel the snip, obviously, by clicking the X. But let's look at the mode key. We have several modes. I have it set now to Window Snip. What that does is it will automatically detect any window on your screen. I have two here as examples, so we'll leave it at Windows Snip. And then it says select the mode using the mode button. Now I'll click on New. When I click on New, what it's going to do is says select the window you want to capture. We'll click over here on my Excel window, and immediately it just captured that window and only that window into a graphic. Nice. Let's do another one for New. And this time we'll click on the window in my Explorer. Click over here and now it captured what I see on my Amazon screen at Amazon.com. So let's do new again. This time we're going to change the mode. Let's click on the down arrow. We'll do full screen snip and immediately it captured a graphic of the entire screen. Uh, we'll click on new again. And we're going to change the mode again. Let's do Rectangular Snip. Uh, this will allow me to take the mouse, use the upper left corner, and drag wherever I want to to the lower right corner. Or I can reverse it if I want. doesn't matter. And then I'll, uh, uh, I'll end it. And whenever I leave my finger off the button, I have a Rectangular Snip that I can use. Let's do new one more time. Let's look at the other option, which is a freeform snip. This is draw a line around the area you want to capture. I will click and we see the yellow line and I let go and now I have a, an irregular object captured. We'll try it again here. I can actually go into my windows, capture this thing, let go, and there I have uh, irregular snip. Uh, we're going to go do another one brand new here. And instead of irregular, let's go back to rectangular, which is easier. And now I will capture this area here. And now I have it. Now, once you have an area captured, there are several things you can do with it. Uh, you can uh, use a pen or a highlighter on your SNP. When you click on pen, you can click the uh, color. You can customize it. And I can draw anything I want here on my SNP. If I don't like it, I click the eraser and highlight any part of a contiguous thing and it disappears. I can also use a highlighter to highlight this if I want to. And so I now I just highlighted part of what was on my particular item. Again, I can erase it. Uh, I can also, uh, when, once I'm done with any editing, I can't put text on here. I can, unless I want to write with the mouse, uh, but I can save this. It'll say Save Snip, and it says, where do you want to save it? The default name is Capture. I'm going to call this Test 2. And I can save it in several file formats. I can save it as a PNG, which is my preference. You can save it as a GIF, a JPEG, or a single HTML. Um, so I'll save this as a test 2 PNG and click on save and it just saved it on my desktop. And here I have it. If I double click on it, there is my image that I just saved. So it's a real nice way to capture anything you see on your screen as an image. 
Um, you can also, if you want to email it, if I click down here, I can email this to a recipient or I can send it as an attachment.